And what's interesting is now, you know, one of the things I'm doing is building a, what's called an autonomous agent, something that has access to all of your email and your calendar. And I think that this world, Nicholas, is going to come in the next maybe 12 months, 24 months, where you have an agent who's sort of tied into everything. Um, and then, John, one thing I wanted to comment on, I think that the, the sort of the theme that we're seeing here is AI is a tool. It's not going to replace you. It's not going to replace, you know, it, it, maybe it'll do some things here and there. But if you know how to use it as a tool, you yourself can get really good at your job and become way more efficient. And that will help you throughout your career. And I think that that's the thing that I've noticed as well when I implement AI for a business. The employees start to use it a lot more and they're able to get their jobs done. Um, so I just wanted to make those quick points. And then I'll, I'll circle back to your comment about, I think it was related to content. You know, how do you start to use AI to create content? We've had a couple of examples so far. I think it sounds like you guys implemented an email tool where you can start to use AI to send better emails. And this is sort of the quintessential use case when it comes to sales. How do you get an email across that's likely to be opened, likely to turn into a demo? It's it's very hard. You know, I, I used to work at a company where we would send a couple thousand emails and that might turn into one or two demos. And the reason it's hard, as I mentioned earlier, it's, it's really hard to create an actionable personalized email. And I think that AI is going to help with that. I'm starting to see tools now where they plug into your email tools and they plug into your customer CRMs and you can start to create automated emails. I think that you can also start to do things, you know, a couple of folks mentioned mid journey. There's a lot of really interesting stuff being done with images. Um, one of the things that I have seen work well in sales is that you film yourself actually, if you're maybe a website agency, for example, you film yourself looking for your customer's website and you say, Hey, this looks good, but I think I can probably improve this. Now those convert pretty well. Those convert at a three to 5% rate, but it's really, really hard to do those at scale. So you can start to use AI to auto automatically generate these sorts of videos. So from the perspective of content generation, we're seeing the early sort of tip of the iceberg phase where people are using it to do the obvious low hanging fruit stuff, creating these blog posts or creating these social media posts, which, which is fine. You know, they don't have a lot of personality to them, but they'll do the job. But I think that in the next few years, you're going to start to see personalization take hold and you're going to start to see what's worked with traditional sales methods, but maybe hasn't been scalable. You're going to start to see those become more scalable. And so that's some of the things that I'm excited about from the world of AI in general. Um, but again, you're not replacing, especially in the world of B2B, you're not replacing salespeople. You're giving them the tools that let them do their job better because ultimately Absolutely. a sale is is human to human and people buy because they are talking to someone who understands them.